number one, Randy Valdez on Nikki. Number two, for I love barrel racing. Um, horses have been a passion of mine since I was two years old. You'll never be able to take the horse out of me. <laughs> My name's Christy Lee Cook. Um, I'm a country singer, a TV host, a barrel racer, an outdoor enthusiast. I'm super outgoing and boring. I've been singing professionally since I was 13. Um, I had a record deal when I was 17. I moved to Texas. I, at 23, 22, decided to go on American Idol. Amazing grace. I finished seventh place in 2008. Right off of American Idol, I hosted a show called Going Country with Christy Lee Cook. Um, I hosted it for three years. I came back with the show that I currently am hosting called The Most Wanted List with Christy Lee Cook. The show's been a top 10 show. It was number six on the network last year. So it's been really successful and it's been a lot of fun to film. I'm co-owner, I'm co-producer, co-editor, co-creator. I pretty much do everything for the show except run a camera. <laughs> yeah, I did that on the last shoot too. <laughs> Rubbing off your mane, are you? I started really getting into barrel racing when I was, I don't know, maybe 20, uh, one, and I started training horses in Texas. So I always pattern these horses, and I never got, I never got to like finish them. I got a little horse named Venom. He's a little reject cutting horse. Six years ago or so, he was my first success story and the first one I really trained that I finished. Ammo is my current horse. Um, she's my little faturity horse. The two that I've trained have been really phenomenal and I'm, I'm pretty proud of both of them. So I'm anxious for the next ones. Look at this palette smart. Yeah. I thought you had some like bamboo cinches. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I designed these buckles. Um, Champion Choice Silver does my buckles and I design it every buckle that I get made. I'm running my horse tomorrow to try to win one. Besides the horses, the hunting, and the singing, um, it's my seven month old Tillman now. He kind of occupies most of my time. Mmm, it's so yummy. The biggest obstacle for me was having a kid. Um, it, I was, I bawled when I heard, I, when I found out I was pregnant. Um, I never wanted kids, actually, I, and I'm just being, I'm black and white, there's no gray area with me. They say it's the best pain in the world. That's what they say about babies, too, but I don't want one of those. I had all these plans and I wasn't ready, and in my mind, my whole life was going to stop. But yeah, but then I had Tillman, and, and it was kind of a, I don't know, it was kind of just in shock, I guess. Sometimes they'll feed me his cookie. No, okay. Now I'm like this total protective mother. I love him to pieces and um, I wouldn't have given that up for anything. If I'd have known then what I know now, um, I would have had Tillman a hundred times over. <gasps> Lee is the best father to Tillman. He is so supportive. Uh, he comes home from work you know, immediately takes Tillman so I can go ride and go do stuff. We have so much in common. We're like two peas in a pod. I got so lucky, and I'm not just saying this. A lot of people say like, oh, I got so lucky. And you know, I've said that before and I didn't really understand it until now. If you always do what you've always done, you're always gonna get what you've always got. I wanna succeed in everything that I do and I wanna do more and I wanna accomplish things and I wanna live life to the fullest and if you just are stuck doing the same thing you're never going to get anywhere further in life <laughs> if you are wanting to chase a goal and a dream and you've been afraid of 
you know, going for it or you don't think you're good enough, I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Um, you just never know what doors can open if you stay put.